What's going on guys, ladies and gentlemen, Simply Pops here, back at it again with another Top 20 Jailbreak Tweaks video. I gotta say, thank you guys so much for all your support on my last Jailbreak Tweaks video. Man, you guys killed it. So many comments and I respond to you guys right away. For example, you guys said, what's the repo for this? I respond to you guys within a minute. So yeah, I'm a good YouTuber and I support you guys right back. But without further ado, let's go right into the Top 20 Jailbreak Tweaks, plus a little bonus tweaks towards the end of the video. First tweak, this is called Aporio. Now, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but basically every time you charge your device, it's gonna bump into low power mode. So I have my portable battery charger here, and I have my lightning cable here, and if I plug in my device, you guys can see low power mode is activated, but if I disconnect it, low power mode's shut down. So the reason being why it does that is basically fast charging. So when your device is on low power mode, it's going to charge your device quicker. And especially if you have a Type-C to lightning cable, that's going to be lightning fast. Now this next tweak here is called Peekaboo. Now Peekaboo is going to put the volume HUD right there on the top. As you guys can see, this works perfectly with the iPhone 10. Um, it's not having that, you know, keeping your device hostage with that big volume HUD. It's going to keep it nice and minimalistic up there. I don't know if that came out right. But yeah, very, very nice minimalistic volume HUD right there on the top left corner. Next up, we have a tweak called Color Banners 2. So Color Banners 2 is an instant classic. It's been around since iOS 7 that I can remember. I might be wrong. And all it is is just going to colorize your notifications. So the banner, oh, is, that's a white color, so that's not going to be good. So Fortnite, as you guys can see, it has like that nice little cream or brown color. So it's, it's taking the app color and it's going to make it the entire color of that notification banner. I love things like this where it adapts to apps and stuff like that. It's just so minimalistic in my opinion and just, it's just so neat. But the only problem with this tweak right now, I don't know, having a little bit of problems or issues, it doesn't really work well with Noctis because Noctis is gonna have the dark mode of your notification center or your notification banner. So yeah, so keep that in mind. Next up, we have Double Tap Lock. So Double Tap Lock is gonna allow you to double tap your home screen to lock your device so very very easy it's gonna you know put some rest on your lock button there your side button you tap on your device here you waking up your device that's a normal iOS stock feature but now when you want to lock your device you could just double tap the home screen and then you lock pull to respring so all it is you go into your settings application I'm gonna go back and you could just pull this down to respring your device very very easy very very handy all right, guys, so this next tweak is called Better CC 11, and all it is is going to redesign your control center. Well, not really redesign, but kind of rearrange it for the better. As you guys can see, the media control on the top there just looks a lot better in my opinion. I was just watching some Casey Nastat, so I can scrub through it without ever long pressing the, the media control. So you have it right there without doing the extra step. So I like this a lot, and you have your toggles on the top. It just look a whole lot better than the stock control center. Now there are some settings to configure. Well, if you want, you have your media controls or your module. Um, you can resize that, um, but I like the default setting a lot. And also the connectivity, so that's the Bluetooth, whatever. You can also change that around too. I think you need a respring to actually change those effects. So every time when someone tries to unlock your iPhone is taking a picture of the person who's trying to unlock your phone so very very handy tweak and if you get your phone back you can see exactly who tried to unlock your phone but the only drawback of this tweak you will need to download some kind of file manager this is a Cydia app called Fowser or Falza. so I went to var mobile and it should be right there catch a thief and all the pictures are right there so every time someone tried to unlock your iPhone and they get it wrong, it's gonna snap a picture of them using a front-facing camera. It would have been cool if it was just straight to your camera roll without downloading this other tweak, but hey, maybe an update. Now this tweak is called Purple Bar and every time you enable Do Not Disturb, your bar on the top is gonna turn purple. And this is perfect for the iPhone 10 because you don't know exactly when your your phone is on do not disturb without you swiping down here and seeing it right there so purple bar you can quickly tell that your phone is on do not disturb mode very very handy tweak and i gotta say it looks good for the theme of my wallpaper and everything else so i'm gonna keep that on now this next handy dandy tweak is called leave me home so every time you type in an app um in spotlight so let's say i want to type in title 
right so all you got to do your long press do not 3d press and it's going to show you exactly where that application is located so app store it's located right there this next tweak is a city tweak and it is called dismiss progress so if i go into the city app every time you install a tweak or a theme or whatever it's going to install the tweak but normally there's no button on the top there the only button you'll have is just respring and sometimes you want to do something else maybe you made a mistake but you're just forced to respring so now with dismiss progress you have this close button here so once you tap on close it's going to close the dismiss and you can do whatever you want now this next application is called palette and i gotta say it's a very very beautiful tweak and all it is is just going to colorize your widget notification <laughs> i got tongue tied widget notification and all it is is going to take the dominant color of that app and it's gonna make it that widget color. So battery, for example, is green, and my subscriber count is all red. So very, very neat tweak, but me personally, I'd rather knock this. The dark mode on this OLED, definitely I'd rather that. Um, you have your widgets, and you have a couple of options to configure, I must say. The next tweak is called Tap Tap Flip, and this is a classic. All it is, if you're used to Snapchat, you're gonna feel right at home with this one. All you gotta do is tap tap, and it's gonna switch the cameras just like that and you tap back at it again. Simple passcode buttons is gonna remove the buttons. Not really buttons, but you guys are gonna see right now. I think you guys already saw this earlier. So it's gonna remove the numbers, the letters, and it kind of give you a nice little neat look, minimalistic, and it's gonna make it harder for thieves to even get into your phone too. All right guys, so next up we have a tweak called No More Separators. Very, very simple tweak. All it is is just gonna remove the separators and this is just really system wide so as you guys can see if you look at it closely there's no separators whatsoever so it kind of gives your device a nice little neat look and this is system wide so um i believe it works for cydia if i'm not mistaken yep it does work on cydia so color badge is a simple one all it is is going to take the dominant color of that application and it's going to turn that banner or turn that badge into dominant app color so very very neat tweak and it works really well with this theme right now currently um, let me focus that in so you guys can see i know i gotta check my email you guys were saying that in the last video but you can get rid of the borders you could turn on the borders um, but normally i don't like any borders i like to keep that minimalistic look on my device next up is instagram plus plus supercharger instagram application by installing this tweak so uh so for example this picture right here you have some options on the side here so i have some options i can either save this picture yeah you have your size so you can save the maximum size or the lowest size you can also repost it if you want so you can repost it to your story your feed oops i did not mean to do that and that's pretty much the tip of the iceberg that's what they say right uh, so if i can go into settings here right from the instagram application you could change the way how your feed look you just got to install this tweak and just you know see for yourself and just play around with it um, you can also spoof your followers so you can actually verify yourself. <laughs> so if I tap on this, my account is going to be verified, not officially, but just to have that tick there, just to, I don't know, make it look nice. You could show somebody, you could trick people. All right, guys, next tweak up is clean home screen. And all it is, this just basically makes your home screen look clean. Um, there's a bunch of settings to configure. So you can remove the notification badges. So that's the badges on your home screen. You have a, uh, you know, you can remove the dock background. Now these things on the bottom here, this is just for the lock screen. So you can remove the status bar on the lock screen, remove the, yeah. So since everything is on, I may as well just show you guys. So my lock screen looks very, very clean. It only shows the clock. I think having a date underneath it is fairly important. So I'm going to turn back on the date. So yeah, you can do that. Just tap on it. I think you have to respring. It does say respring. And now I have the date back. As you guys can see, it looks so much neater. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, this is a tweak called Not So Recently Used. And basically all it is, very, very simple tweak. It's just going to remove that limitation of all your recently used um, emojis. So the list can go on and on and on. You get what I'm saying? So it's not so limited. So you have a bunch of uh, recently used emojis there instead of just being it like a one page thing. So very, very handy if you use your emojis a lot. And yet again, I'm exposing myself yet again. <laughs> the same mask as the first part. But hey, we got to get there though. I'm going to get an iPhone stand one of these days. Um, but bear with me. So that's the last tweak, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, and I forgot to do one thing. I forgot to show you guys some of the settings for each of these tweaks. But most of these tweaks are free anyway, so you can download it yourself. And very, very self-explanatory too, like enable low power mode at 20%. 
double tap lock all it is is just an enable switch so most of these settings are very very self-explanatory it's just enable or disable pull to respring is right there simple um, buttons you can hide everything you can hide uh, the letters tap tap flip see look it's just an enable switch so that's why I didn't really show you guys too much settings all it is is just enable or disable so guys that's pretty much it for this video thumbs up for part three i am working on a part three of the best tweak setup and maybe i might even show you guys some themes i am working on you know making my device look beautiful i know it looked kind of ugly on the first part but i'm getting there guys uh, make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on thank you guys so much for all your support yet again we are on the road to 17,000 subscribers and i just feel blessed but yeah stay tuned for more apple related content and more tech videos and just any videos man i make other videos than just jailbreak tweaks so yeah i'm out of here guys peace